Right, we need to get back out there. Uh, you lot go here and uh, we'll go there. Hold your horses. Just heard from Caleb. Him and Nikki have found Clemmy. She's safe and well. Oh! oh. oh. We've had some cold drinks all round. I don't know what does. No arguments here. How was the cricket? Contentious. Probably just as well we had to abandon mid-match. Mm, little dispute over a couple of wickets. Both of which were out, mm. clearly. Please tell me more. Game broke a window. Ah, that's more like it. <gasps> oh, just remembered. Never called man of the match. Ah, yeah, because we called off play. Ah, uh, even so, only one of us here. It's a six. Uh, no, that don't count, Ken. <laughs> oh, that settles it then. Seriously? Yeah, seriously. That's the best I could do at short notice. It's Theo, so he'll have to give it me back. And to the victor goes the spoil. Yeah, and it's for your batting, not your bowling, which was, quite frankly, rubbish. Anyway, man of the match, everybody, Dan! Yay! Dan! Yay! Dan! Yay! Glad to see you're not letting the small matter of my husband's coma spoil your day. This isn't what... Go on. Isn't what? Can I get you a drink? I haven't come here to drink. Why have you come? Has something happened? Well, Dan, and this'll make you laugh. Because clearly it doesn't take much. Oh, you have no idea, lady. Oh, is that right? See, despite what you said the other day in the hospital when things got a bit heated, I truly thought I'd seen some genuine remorse in you for what you'd done. Because you had. So I thought I'd come and find you. See if we could have a reasonable conversation. I know that's what Lloyd would tell me to do. I always like to play fair, my husband. Give people the benefit of the doubt. Just the same husband who was stalking his teenage daughter. Then who the hell are you? Kane, stay out of this, please. You know nothing about my Lloyd. None of you do. Thing is, you say he was harassing your daughter. What are you calling me a liar? So you're Amelia. Well, of course you'd be here too. And, yeah, if the cap fits. Here. I thought I'd show you these. See, this is who my husband is. This is our first holiday together. This is Lloyd on a sponsored bike ride, raising money for our local hospice. With our dog, Bessie. Just before we had her put to sleep. See, just a, a normal, decent man. I'm sorry. Well, you say that, and yet here you are laughing and boozing in the middle of the day without a care in the world. Oh, no, that's not fair. Fair? My husband's in a coma because of him, and I'm the one who should be fair. He's fighting for his life, and it means nothing to you, not a damn thing. See, you haven't just destroyed Lloyd's life. You've destroyed mine, too. The pair of you. Yes. You always this rude. Now, look at you. All butter wouldn't melt. No. No, that's not me. Isn't it? You're just a kid. You have no idea who you are. You've no idea about anything. No, I'm not arguing with you. Oh, how very mature. Police are regular feature around here, are they? Hardly surprising, given what I've seen. You don't miss a trick, you, do you? Pity you can't seem to see what's right under your nose, or maybe you just can't admit it to yourself. Did you feel all empowered? Did it? Whipping your dad up into a frenzy. Having him think my husband was some kind of... Pervert. My husband worked on his own all day. He could sometimes get lonely, so he loved watching young people following their dreams, however ridiculous. Even helping them out financially, as well you know. It made him feel connected to the world. He supported you. He encouraged you. He never asked for anything in return. Except he told me that that money were to buy one-on-one -on -one time with me, but I bet that's perfectly innocent to you, right? That is not my Lloyd. Just stop it with your nasty little lies. You okay? The scum. The lot of you. I hope they throw the book at your dad so you can watch as he rots in prison. <laughs> 